This is BBC News with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. Al Shafi Al Sheikh, one of the four Islamic State militants known as the Beatles, gets life in prison in America over the deaths of four US citizens. Let this sentencing make clear to all who dare to kidnap, torture, or kill any American citizen abroad that US justice will find you wherever you are. Russia rejects calls for a complete demilitarization around the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in southern Ukraine on security grounds. The UN Secretary General gives his response. I hope that it will be possible to start engaging in a way that we will come, uh, at least for the moment, to a uh, end of all military operations. Police in Nicaragua detain a Roman Catholic bishop who has been a prominent critic of the president. We'll be speaking to the human rights advocate, Bianca Jagger. A show of solidarity for Salman Rushdie. Authors gather in New York to demonstrate their support a week after he was attacked. We start in the United States, where a former British member of the Islamic State terror group has been sentenced to life in prison. It's by a court in Virginia. El Shafi El Sheikh, who is 34, he was among a group of British IS members who carried out a brutal reign of terror in Syria and became known as the Beatles, a name given to them by their captives. Our North America correspondent, Nami Iqbal, reports from Virginia. Muhammad, uh... 